the African Union Political Affairs, Peace and Security tweeted the news of the suspension, unexpected move typically taken in the wake of military coups. In a communicate, the Pan-African Party said the suspension would be in place until the effective restoration of the transitional authority is steering the country towards elections. It came as the World Bank also on Wednesday following the United States in suspending aid to Sudan following the widely contaminated military takeover. Meanwhile, state oil company workers and doctors said they would join a growing campaign of civil disobedience called by coalitions of unions against the power grab. Soldiers on Monday seized Prime Minister Abdullah Hamdok and briefly detained him in the coup. That came just more than two years into a fragile power-sharing arrangement between the military and civilian of the former deposed president, Omar al-Bashir. General Abdel Fattah al-Burhan imposed a nationwide state of emergency across the country and dissolved with Hamdok's transitional government. And the top ruling party, the Sovereign Council, a joint military civilian power-sharing authority. In a televised speech on Tuesday, al-Burhan defended the military's move saying it was meant to avoid a civil war. He also pledged to hold elections as planned in July 2023 and to appoint technocratic government in the meantime.